Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how to make an RPG. Okay, first thing you want to do is just search up RPG kit on the toolbox and select the first thing. This is by kit A6660 I think. Yep, 6660. But, um, that is the first thing you're going to want to do. Then you're going to want to ungroup this and in the instruction manual you're going to want you might want to read this but I can also show you how to do this. So this armor is going in replicated storage. GUIs is ungrouped Replicated storage and ungrouped, and then you're going to want to put this in static UI and then ungroup. Ungroup tools. You want to read this if you want to make any more weapons, but Put this in start pack, and you're gonna want to put items in replicated storage, and you don't want to ungroup it. And then you're gonna put scripts into replicated storage, then ungroup. Wait, I just want to check something. Okay, you're gonna need to. You're gonna leave these scripts. Start a GUI. Ungroup. Server script service. Ungroup. Wait a moment. Okay, now we're gonna be testing the game. Okay, yep, that seems pretty good. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to look at is this page, Properties. And this is telling you what uh, these mean. So, for example, additional XP needed, how much in addition to calculate XP of hard is needed to to be earned to level up and then you're going to put the number here in value so you can have a look through them uh, this uh, is the XP bar at the bottom is showing your progress to the next level that shows you your level will show your character here uh, your username here your health here your minor points for uh, the shop ones which you want to ungroup for magic uh, walk speed money uh, this is where you can equip armor uh, stats every time you level up you get a point and you can upgrade th some uh, various things delete your save which will set everything to zero uh, your version of the game and uh, the amount of players online pretty self-explanatory so for the quest system Gonna want to look in here, and I'm not gonna explain this. I might in a, in like a second episode, but you can look through here if you want. I'll just put this over here for now. So these are shops, uh, and you're gonna want to start building your game. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is anchor this brick make it green you can uh, you can change this but I'm gonna stretch this out and I'm gonna build a small village now I don't want to put loads of time into building so I'm just gonna uh, search some stuff
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna build some RPG shops. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna want to build something along the lines of this. For your shop. I'm gonna want to get a person model. And you might wanna put them like in your shop. This is what I've got for now. Let me take a look at this. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to get a wedge so that I can anyway you're gonna want to build something like this and um, I'm gonna name this base plate and I'm gonna lock it so that means I can't select it. I'm gonna grab this, move it here, and group it and call it shop. And this is gonna be the sword shop. So you're only gonna find the sword shop here. The button, so when they press this it will open the shop. You wanna make this invisible and not can play and just gonna quickly take the take this decal you can build this however you want but this is what I'm building place them to Front. Uh, or the other thing you can do is just get a knight, knight, I hope this doesn't attack, but we're going to make this the Jeez, uh, okay, so this guy doesn't attack. Oh, yep, he does. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do though is add, make it so you cannot get through. So you're gonna want to build up some walls. This is gonna be invisible. If, you, if you're a good builder, then you can uh, not follow what I'm doing, but uh, you probably want to follow what I'm doing. Um. Yep, okay. I want to select this guy and group them together. Um, okay, so you've built your first shop, but 
you're thinking there's more shops, so you want to duplicate this. Do not duplicate the button, but duplicate this, and um, depending on what shop it is. So let's say if it's a armor shop, I might want another knight. But if it's a magic shop, then you're going to be wanting a wizard. Okay, um, this is going to be the armor shop. You just want to go in here. Find, wait, no, you want to find the sword shop guy. Change his name to armor shop. And that's that. Okay, let's test this game. You see, this guy's going to jump every so often, and he's slightly moving. And over here, you can buy armor and here you can buy swords and you'll see down here points available so it says six points so you can spend it on different things that you want and that's that my only concern I'm going to delete these. The chase script and the random jump. And also, yeah. Let's go. So you're going to keep duplicating this. But now I'm adding a staff shop. So I'm going to delete this guy and get a wizard and rename him to star shop and then I'm gonna get the star shop And I'll see you guys once I've placed all the shops. Okay, the last thing, I just want to make the base plane a bit bigger so I can fit all the shops. But this is the final shop. And I want to go to decals. It's not really a shop though. Uh, so I want to do a and a, uh, sell your stuff sign. Or like a pawn shop sign. And then I'll put this in front as always, make it invisible, and then I want to go to, back to models and have like a order, maybe, like a villager. Now we have all the shops, the next thing you want, want to add is your healing pond. So if someone's on low health, they can come to the healing pond and uh, all their health will be revived. Now I want to get, like, build a tree. Um, put that to wood. Um, I'll just build a simple tree. Anchored and green. There we go. Group this, duplicate it, and just kind of add some trees. 
for decoration around the town. Oops. Uh, there. Then you're going to want to go to block. Uh, set this to slate. And build up some walls. Here we go. And you may be wondering, hey, where are the enemies? And I'm going to get onto that in episode two. Actually, I'm going to wait a moment, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode, and uh, out.